Our topic today is NAT. NAT stands for Network Address Translation. And the reason why we use NAT is to conserve our original IP version 4 addressing scheme. When our addressing scheme was first created in the 1980s, nobody ever dreamed that we would run out of IP addresses. But then the internet grew into what it is today and we are running out of IP version 4 addresses. So NAT was a way to temporarily reserve some of those addresses. Since the creation of NAT, we've also developed an IP version 6 addressing scheme, but that's a topic for another day. So the way that NAT works is it allows us to use IP version 4 addresses, like your typical addressing scheme, um, and it allows you to use those addresses privately. So if those addresses are being used privately, then they don't ever, they're never seen on the internet, so they don't have to be unique. Now, if you do need to communicate with a device on the internet in the rest of the world, then you need to translate your private address to a public one if it's going to be seen. One way you can think of it is, um, let's say you have nicknames within your family. You've got mom, you've got dad, maybe you've got a little daughter and they call her princess. Maybe they've got a little boy, they call him little slugger. Now those are names that you use with one another inside your family. But when you go out to the real world, or if somebody addresses a letter to you, like mails you an actual letter, they don't put little slugger on it, they put, you know, the actual name of, of the kid. It's Jonathan Johnston. Um, so within your household, it's okay to use those nicknames, but it's when you're sending or receiving data outside the household or outside of the local area network, that you need to translate those private names into public ones. So let's have a look first of all at a local area network. Um, this would be an example, right? We've got a router and some PCs. So this is our local area network. NAT works best when you have a border router. A border router here is one exit point from your local area network to the internet. This is called a stub network because there's only one exit point and entrance point as well. So that works great in this type of scenario. So within this local area network, we can use non-unique IP addresses. They're unique within the local area network. We only have one princess and one little slugger, but they don't have to be unique compared to the rest of the world.